Uh, we're going to install the Sea-Doo speed tie on a Sea-Doo spark. This is a 2016 uh, three up. Uh, the part number is 295100496. Um, I usually lay out the bolts on the, these are the instructions you can download from BRP's website, but the pictures are kind of hard. I've already installed them on that jet ski and I'm going to film it for this jet ski. Um, so I usually lay out the parts on the thing because in the instructions when it refers to the part it's just going to tell you which part number it is. And then the tools you're going to need are uh, 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, a razor blade. Okay so you take off the seat first and then this you're going to take off these four bolts. Okay so to take off the back handle these are 10 millimeters there's four bolts holding it in. Okay, and this whole thing just lifts off. And then for the back speed tie, it goes right here. Uh, the whole thing is installed on this, so this one's really easy. The other one's a lot harder. It's in the front. So now we're going to take off the front panel. So you take off the SOS safety cover. Okay, so you're going to remove your safety. I don't even know what you call this. In fact, there's a flashlight in here that does not come with batteries, so you kind of have to open it up when you get it and put in batteries. Okay, so you're going to remove this trim piece right here, and there's a T30 screw up here, and then there's a, um, a plastic, kind of like one of those car screws that you have to like pull the plastic piece out. Oh no, this is the 8mm right here. Okay, now this one, you get a small screwdriver. Put it in the side, kind of wiggle it, go to the other side. Okay, once you get that part loose, you pull it out as far as it goes, and then the whole thing just wiggles out. And it's one of these plastic things. When you push this in, it expands this part. So in order to get this out, you have to wiggle this part out. This piece just comes off. Set that aside because we're going to cut this piece out with the razor blade. Okay, that's throw away. And then you take one of these. You're going to take, and I look at the diagram and look to make sure, because when I got mine, see how in their diagram it shows this tab going down, so you have to pull that out and go like that when you screw it in. I don't know if it really matters which way it is, I just wanted to make sure to match it up. So you're going to take two of these and stick them in with the plastic thing facing this back side. They just slide into here, and you're going to push it in until the holes line up. Another one here. Okay, and then you're gonna mount this. You're gonna screw this whole thing into here. You'll see that this is kind of in the way. Just, just push that in, and then you'll have access to this. and then hand tighten them. This is not the same for the back one, so make sure you do not try to save time and jump ahead to this one. It's mounted totally different. Okay, then you have this clip that just covers these screw holes. Um, it's a lot easier to install with this down. So if this is still over like this, just push it in. And then this clip and this clip go into this side and this side. And it just goes down like that. Okay, now this is gonna be mounted up in here. This bar is gonna go back here. These screws that are really coarse thread, I would start by putting them on first. And they won't fall off because the thread is so coarse, so. Okay, so now this is the hard part because you gotta mount this up in there and it's really hard to get to them so 
on. This time I'm gonna actually remove this piece because the screws are up in here. This, this air vent, you can just pull out of the way. So you're supposed to mount this thing up in here, so it's really hard to get your hand up in here, but with this out of the way, it's gonna be a lot easier. Um, you will have to cut a zip tie, so you'll have to make sure you have a zip tie to get the, the wire harnesses attached to this. There's only four screws on this. Um, if you have a convenience uh, storage bin, you have to remove that. Again, you can probably try to install it without doing any of this, but it, the hardest part was getting this part in, so I'm just going to remove these. When you're screwing them back in, make sure you uh, don't use a, a drill to screw them in, or if you do, go halfway and then hand tighten them the rest of the way since you're screwing into plastic. Okay, now this part comes off and then your storage bin should slide out. Now, um, I'm gonna remove that other piece, but you gotta, get, you gotta take this off. There's a screw right here, the same T. This one is different than these ones, so don't mix them up. You can see that this one has a coarse thread and this one is metric thread. Okay, so now to get this off, you take a screwdriver and you just push this, there, there's a clip up here. So you're just gonna push that in and then the whole thing slides forward. So all you're doing with the screwdriver is just pushing that down a little bit and the whole thing slides forward. To take out this piece right here, there is an M, no, a T30 star screw. There's a screw here and there's a screw up here. Eight millimeter. And this, there's gonna be one on each side. So you're gonna have to take off the access panel on the other side too. the same as the other side. And again, you can try to install it without doing everything from the bucket on. And then you have that little plastic car clip again. Okay, and then the other one's up here, and that's the star shape. Okay, so now the only thing holding it in is the harness has a zip tie on it. So I'm just going to cut the zip tie off. Okay. In fact, you don't even have to pull it out, you can leave it right there. Okay, so this is gonna be installed. So this is right where we're at, right here. You're gonna screw it into this hole, this hole, this hole, this hole, and then that bracket screws to this hole. And it was this one. It was really hard to get to without moving this part. I was able to do it, but then you'll need, you know, like a part like this or something and your hands will get all scraped up from doing it. Okay, so this is gonna use the eight millimeter again. I would try to hand tighten it first while you're holding it. Okay, so you can take this vent and move it out of the way. Now we're gonna line this up. Try to line it up with the hole. You can see the screw coming out of the other end and line it up with the hole before you start tightening it. Don't tighten it all the way because it'll be easier to rotate it. And then try to look on the top. I don't know if you can see it up there, but you can see the screw coming out and make sure it's lined up with the hole. Now 
that side and that side, those were the ones that were like practically impossible with this piece on it. I mean, it was still possible, but it was very hard. Okay, so this last one, last time I had to come from, from this direction and my socket was too long, so I had to end up using like this up in there. But it was really a pain in the butt, so that's why I took off the panel this time. Okay. Okay, then you're gonna use this thick black one the T30 to screw in the bracket. That bracket goes right to there. Okay. I'm just going to tighten up the other screws. Okay, now you put everything back together. Just rest it on top, and then look underneath, and you have to line up these, these clips. So, once you get it lined up, these it'll just clip right in. And then line up this top one. See this top clip right here? It just goes in. And then you have that one last screw that holds this one. You're going to take your razor blade and you're going to cut out the speed tie spot. This one's easier from the back side. Now this one's different. This one, you get this metal plate, and the metal plate lines up with these four holes. And then you're actually gonna mount this, and it, it mounts apart. So this ends up getting mounted here, and this ends up getting mounted here. Then you take these pieces, you rest them on the back. So the first thing we're gonna do, we can mount that part out of it. Stretch this out, put your knee on it so it doesn't close up. All right, when you mount this on, uh, line it up with this so you can make sure that you're mounting in the right direction. These four holes line up. And then this is gonna go, this is gonna mount to the back side of these clips. And then that goes in there like that. So you're gonna want the plastic tab facing the back of the handle. We can mount this whole thing out of it. these screws with that washer stick it in and then use these plastic ones do the smooth side to the back of this The spiky parts go down. All this does is cover up the bolts. Those two hooks right there and there go into the two side pieces. And it's easier to put on with this pushed in. Okay. You take this, set it on there. Make sure it lines up. If it doesn't line up, you have it backwards. Take your last four screws. You should have four wash, uh, four big washers, four small washers. Let's see where those other two go. There's two over there. On yep. The ground. That's them. Okay, so on these ones you're going to need two 
um, eight millimeter sockets because you're gonna have to tighten from one end and hold it from moving on the other end. So the small washer and then the locking nut. Don't tighten it all the way yet until you have all the things lined up. Once they're all in, you can go back and tighten them. And then you have your four 10 millimeter screws. And then tighten them by hand. And then there's your clip. So then you just push this in towards the towards the speed tie. You can pull it out. And then it locks when it's like this. So it won't move. It won't retract. So if it's not retracting, push this back in. It can retract. And then to push that back, you just push the thing in. You just take this lever, push it towards the hook, and then it releases it. This is the lock that'll pinch. If this is pushed forward towards the rope, it'll go in and out, but as soon as you push it back, it stops it. So you wanna pull it out. Go ahead and lock it, and tie it off the front first. Then you take your back one. And then when you get off, you want to make sure you do the back one first before you get on the jet ski and then do your front one. 